The Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, along with other ministry leaders, convened a meeting recently with CMOS farmers from the community of Opico Viewfort to discuss on the successes of the CMOS subsector to date and to chart the way forward for the industry amidst the challenges of 2020. In providing insights on the sector, Predia Larceny continues to be flagged as the leading concern among CMOS farmers. In his response to addressing this ongoing issue, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph highlights that the current legislation already in place for Predia Larceny, but placing even more emphasis on the importance of regulating CMOS cultivation and harvesting procedures to ensure the quality of the final CMOS product is not compromised. My understanding, based on your concerns and experiences negatively, that is, is legislation to see how you can curb the situation with persons who are not bona fide CMOS farmers in the area harvesting your CMOS. Now, if that is correct, it's very interesting because I don't see the need for further legislation and I'm going to explain why. We have legislation already in place. We have the Prayer Lassini group already in place functioning. Um, just last week we had our heads meeting, right? And it's not a matter of having legislation, it's a matter of giving support to the entity that is going to supervise and monitor the legislation that you put in place. President of the Opico CMOS Farmers Association, Corinne Samuel, says the association will continue to give the farmers full support to ensure that CMOS farmers, the St. Lucia National Trust, and fishermen operate harmoniously. So far, we have covered the conflict with CMOS farmers. The conflict we have is those non CMOS farmers who come in and collect the CMOS. So that we are working on, and we have a clear plan as to how we work with that, with National Trust, because we know they use them for um, kayaking, and they have told us exactly where they need space for this to happen. We have moved sticks. We have asked farmers to take out the stick completely and try to shift it. So cut on your farm if you have to a little bit to allow both National Trust, the fishermen, and ourselves to coexist at Savants Bay without conflict. The Opico CMOS Farmers Association currently consists of approximately 120 farmers. From the Information Unit of the Department of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.